I have uh, downloaded the images that are required and my individual choices. Now I need to create screenshots for each of these. Clicking on Required and Bridge, I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to press the keys Shift, holding that down, press the key Command. Holding both those keys down, press the key 3, the number 3 and you'll hear that little sound like a picture being taken and you can see on my desktop uh, screenshot there it is okay next I'll go back and take a screenshot of my choices these are the ones I chose to download pressing the keys at the same time shift command 3 I now have a new screenshot You'll notice the screenshot on a Mac automatically defaults to a .png file or ping file, but in the requirements it is supposed to be a JPG file or JPEG. So what I'm going to have to do is open these in Photoshop and change them to the requirement. Sometimes we'll get clients who have specific requests for specific file types so it's always best to do what the client wants especially if it's not too much trouble and this is just a simple extra step should you be using a PC and you wish to take a screenshot instead of pressing the keys shift command 3 before opening Photoshop simply press well get to the required images and then press on your keyboard print screen what that does is it adds it to your clipboard in the background so you don't actually see anything happening. The next thing you need to do is open up Photoshop. In Photoshop, create a new file. And I've created a uh, preset here called screenshot but really quickly if you want to pause uh, you can see the width height resolution color mode and everything under advanced and uh, so if you want to pause really quickly that's the how we're going to set this file up I'm going to open this up on a PC at this point you would click edit and then paste and it should paste your screenshot right in here on a Mac we're going to have to actually open up that first PNG or ping file so on a PC once you hit paste it should look something like this uh, you can crop it down if you wish but I'd rather you not uh, I want to see your entire screen uh, from this point simply go to whether you're on a Mac or a PC go to file save as save it as a JPEG file on your desktop and we're going to name it what was required. Again, your client may have very specific ways of uh, naming the file. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do, it depends on the client. Uh, these underscores are quite unnecessary in my opinion nowadays because computers are smarter than they used to be, but just to let you know those underscores are pretty important probably I would say 10 years ago now. Sometimes if you didn't have those underscores it would basically uh, not find the file correctly and or corrupt the file. Uh, it happened to me a few times, not very often, uh, so it is a good habit but honestly probably don't need them too much anymore. However, if your client requests them, does it really hurt to add them? So I'm going to save that one. Uh, it doesn't have to be a very high uh, quality because this is just going to be shown on my screen. I hit the quick key or press the quick key command O for open on a Mac. I'm going to open up my second screenshot. In this case if you're using a PC you would have to go back here to your Adobe Bridge. Click on your choices. Once you're here press the print screen key. Then go back to Photoshop go to edit and paste then go to file save as save it as a JPEG
and make sure you change it to BR2. And there you have it. We've just created two screenshots of our required images and the images of our choices. Next, we'll have to create a color profile, which I'll do in another video.